David wants to know where he can get a cool cap cap. Oh, so thanks for asking. Yeah, <laughs> my power cap. Right now, the answer is nowhere, but I am working on it. So not only do I, not only do I want to make power caps, but I also want to, I, I don't have it down. I should have brought it down, but I have this resistor backpack that I made that I want to make like backpacks and many different stripes, like resistors of all values. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I, I love fashion. And I'd really like to make electronics inspired clothing, just, yeah, to like empower everybody to take part in electronic culture. Yes. It frustrates me that engineering is so inaccessible to the vast majority of the population. And yeah. yet technology is controlling everyone to a great degree. I find that disparity hurtful, alarming, yeah. dangerous. I mean, there's so many things about it that are wrong. So anyway, yeah. So Maybe. one of the ways I plan to address that in the coming years is to make a line of really cool electronics inspired fashion to empower the people. Yes. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's, I feel pretty, pretty passionately about that too. And you know, part of the reason of just like doing live streams and hanging out is to just like build circuits and learn stuff about circuits and yeah, get more information out there for people. The yeah. more people talking about electronics and explaining stuff in different ways, I feel like the better we are, even if it's the same circuit explained a hundred different times, a hundred different ways, you know, some of those ways are going to connect with some people, right? In ways yeah. that those other 98 did not. And so, right. yeah. 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 And, and, you know, it, I mean, get it, speaking of the, the A-stable multivibrator, I okay. have a pretty solid intuitive understanding of how that circuit works now after working with it and building hundreds, if not thousands of them over more than a decade of my practice. But do I still completely understand how the electricity is moving in it? No. <laughs> and I'm continuously developing new insight about exactly how the circuit works. Yes. Yep. And that's one of the things about analog electronics, which is so cool. And that's also why I want to get more people passionate about electronic hardware, because there's tremendous potential in analog electronics that is underutilized because in the sixties and seventies, when electronic devices were miniaturized and manufacturing, manufacturing processing was improved. They became more readily available. There was like this brief period in human history when hobbyists could have pretty easy access to electronic supplies and built some amazing analog electronic circuits with them. But by the middle end of the seventies, that was already ending because you had digital integrated circuits coming out and all of the, this, everybody like just left analog. Oh, it's too hard. It's easier. You know, you work with these chips and yeah, people move towards digital really fast. And now I get frustrated when I apply for art competitions or art grants that the categories are like, okay, you're either it's painting or sculpture or digital art. I'm like, <laughs> like, that's not fair. Like this not digital art is not synonymous with electronic art. Right. Yeah. No, but that's, that's almost, a really interesting point. I hadn't thought of that before. Yeah. It's almost that bad. Yeah. So we need to get people back thinking about hardware, working with hardware and also looking at what analog circuits can do. And that's why I developed my, my bird song circuits was to show people like, Hey, using a very small amount of hardware, I can get really interesting, complicated behavior that were you to do this in a digital way, it would require 
thousand fold, hundred, maybe million. I don't even know. Like, because for starters, you have to have like the, the, the computing processor is your platform. And with chip mm -hmm. shortages in the world and everything, like already, just already getting that, that chip, that very basic computer, even an Arduino or whatever, and you're already talking about like tremendous manufacturing and sourcing complexity, right? Yeah. Right. So yep. like, what if you could build the same circuit with like yeah. 30 discrete components? You know I mean? People <laughs> buy Arduinos to blink lights. They do indeed. <laughs> But now you're going to show them that they don't need to. <laughs> it is true. It is It is true. I mean, you know, I I don't think I can necessarily pick a favorite because I do, I do really enjoy embedded programming. There's, it makes you think in much smaller, simpler terms. I mean, you, you really do have to think in ones and zeros a lot and think about like, how many ones and zeros is represented by this number that right. I'm trying that I am putting in my code and things like that? And like what happens if I or these two ones and zeros together? What happens if I and them together? And I don't something about that I really enjoy, but I also really love analog circuits too. And I like like I don't know it's if it's like the retroness or the retro appeal, but but it is really cool to have something that that does a thing that you don't program that just does that thing because of the nature of the components involved well i mean you you do program it in the sense that you are still building an intelligent architecture you can't just yes. throw a bunch of transistors at your breadboard and have them like magic <laughs> yeah but, but i wish I, you could so that would be great <laughs> Another circuit that would be really cool uh, to build, especially for you, is our mm -hmm. transistor logic circuits. You know, you can use yeah. transistors to AND and OR and XOR. Yeah. Oh, right. speaking of something that's kind of a cool crossover, I recently saw the latest Tindy newsletter. Somebody is putting together a core, a core RAM board. So you oh, actually, nice. yeah, yeah, you, you actually, I, I believe you have to like actually like wire the ferrites yourself and like make the lattice yourself on the board. Okay. And I'm yeah. just like, ooh, core memory. Oh, core memory is beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I think I'm going to pick up that kit and, and maybe, maybe that will be a future solder sash.